In Italy, a series with a predominantly black cast is breaking down stereotypes in a country where racist language and imagery are not uncommon. Lo spacciatore, il vuoi comprare? Ciao. Cos'è meglio? Made by Netflix, Zero follows the antics of a young black Italian man with supernatural powers who helps solve mysteries and crimes. So many times when I was young, I couldn't find anyone similar to me in Italy or who could represent what I am, and I had to look abroad. In the world today, even in Italy, there are a lot of second-generation blacks, and this community is pretty strong. And we're not represented in cinema, so to be part of a series as a black story is a huge victory for me. Far parte di una serie con protagonisti neri per me è una grandissima vittoria. Since its launch in April, Zero has proved popular, and those involved hope it can be a vehicle for change. In Italy. I always say that Italy is a country tied to traditions more than racist. Change is very difficult in a country so tied to traditions. But I tell you, I'm convinced that through these things, writing novels, the possibility of making a series, that things can change. Netflix says the series is an example of its aim to develop homegrown drama, written, acted and directed by local talent. Non ci conosciamo nemmeno. Ti presento i tuoi nuovi amici. Lei e Sara. Nel mondo italiano per noi è stata un'emozione per me. For us in the Italian world it's been emotional and for me personally a satisfaction allowing me to feel good about myself. For me it wasn't just a job. Zero was a contribution. How do you say it? A contribution to change. Non so come dire. Un contribuire un po' al cambiamento. Il mondo ti guarda. Zero has been adapted for several European languages and is in worldwide distribution. Adesso, tocca a me.